Where to go, Jack? Where to go? Come on, Hammond. You're in a no-win situation. Put your hands out of the car where I can see them. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, ladies and gentlemen, what is? Uh, I know you're not crazy about talking about your tattoos, but. Uh, Obviously, I'm obligated to bring the issue up. And Don't we'll punch talk me. about how many your mom has and uh, <laughs> how she got them at an early age when she met your father at the rodeo bar. Okay. One, two. That's good. Wow. I don't know if you've seen that, it's. <laughs> um, no, you did. You mentioned in details. You don't like talking about so it. What, but... what, what strange places has that little camera gone, sir? <laughs> uh, I won't. We don't no, have the ratings plummet. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Uh, what uh, can you can, do? You talk about this at all? Can you give us any idea talk about, about talk about, about what? No. Uh, just with the tattoos well, you know. Are you it, still doing them? Do you still? No, no. I grew out of it. Yeah. It was a phase. Any uh, regrets? For, no, never. For me, it was uh, basically getting racing stripes. Mm -hmm. It's a way of kind of. In, it's a way a young man. Uh, well, this young man was uh, individualizing himself, uh, trying not to be like his father or anyone else. Kind of like you know, customizing your chassis. I'm now 33, almost 34 years old. This is my face. This is how I look. If you don't like it, bite me. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You reach a certain age where you really start to accept, like, yes, this is the way I look. Okay, this is the way my hair falls in the morning. This is my face. No amount of Neutrogena scrub is going to change anything. <laughs> Learn to love it, but when you're 22, you're like, no, no, I can modify this, you know, sand that down, and after a while, you're like, this is it, <laughs> this is my thing, and so you know, I kind of gave up on it. Henry, I like you, and I'm not going to bite you either way. So I made both those decisions here. <laughs> Tell me about uh, that was a scene from the movie with Charlie Sheen, yeah, Cha well, the you, Chase you in '93. Four words, that was great. Well, no, but did you like doing that? Were yeah, you... it was fun. I did the film because uh, the idea of playing a stupid cop was really appealing to me. Is that what you were? <laughs> you were a stupid yeah, cop? A, a total, like, Rambo, uh, Wild Wild West, William Shatner with too much testosterone. Mm. Like, <laughs> hey, man, let's get it on, you know, this kind of thing. And the director let me just wing it. Uh -huh. And I did this, the, the wildest part was I did the screen test in Houston, and so we borrowed a policeman's outfit that fit me. So I put it on in one of the hotel rooms, and the director and I went out to the parking lot because he was going to interview me, and I was going to be in this cop character, and that's how we were going to make Fox think that I could do this. Right. Because they thought, oh, he can't be funny. You know, he'll bite you or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I no walked in. No one's biting anybody I here. walked into the lobby with, like, this really well-fitting cop out that didn't look like a costume. And I had the glasses on, the hat, the, the f plastic gun, and I walked into the lobby, really forgetting I had this getup on. <laughs> and everyone, I'd look at everyone, everyone would be like, <laughs> And everyone started looking at Adam, who's like this 26-year-old young director guy. Like, oh, man, what did he do? He's being escorted out of the hotel by a cop. <laughs> and the wildest was standing in front of the hotel, and everyone's coming up the driveway to the Omni in Houston, which everyone's driving to snail's pace anyway, because it's a, it's a hotel driveway. Everyone slowed down. I'd look at the car. The hood would go down. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, easy. And they get out of the, they get out of the car, and I would just like, look at people, uh -huh. like behind these mirrored shades, like totally safe behind mirrored shades. No one would look at me. Everyone's like, oh, he's looking at me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got some marijuana in my purse. <laughs> Cuff me. Yeah. But it was, I, I could see where some guy would, would get off on a real power trip. I mean, people really get, they step to the side. Right. It was, I couldn't wait to get out of that uniform. Mm -hmm. So it was fun to do the film and just be a goofball. And the, the guy who was in the film with me, that the uh, other policeman, is Josh Mostel, Zero Mostel's son. Mm -hmm. And Josh is one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Funny, whole, just wonderful guy. So it was a great summer. And you're going to do something else now. I, Dolph Lundgren's going to beat your head in or something, yeah, he, right? He, ki <laughs> it, he killed me. It took him two days, but he killed me. Mm -hmm. I, I did this film with, with uh, Keanu Reeves, Dolph Lundgren, Ice-T. And uh, we did that. We're done with it. And What's golf uh, like? Um, okay, look. Hey, we got to. Uh... He's very big. Yes, he is. He picked me up like you pick is. up a sack yeah. of groceries. If ever there were somebody to bite you, you wouldn't want it to be him. I've never been picked up. I, I've never been owned by someone. It's like, <laughs> whew, wow, we are in the air. We are being carried around the room. We'll uh, do a quick break right back with Henry Rollins. Just 
pointing out here in the uh, break. Very quickly, friends, the music that you heard over the little break, that was the music of Cab Calloway, who's a master musician. He just passed away this weekend. Very sad. So. Hey, this is the book, by the way. I just want to show this. Uh, Henry Rollins' Get in the Van, and that is the story of uh, many a uh, trying time, yes? Sure. This is the uh, letter, letter written to you by the uh, previous night's guest, which was Pamela Anderson from Baywatch. Dearest Henry, how many tattoos do you have on... How many tattoos do you have on your... I'm drowning right here in this chair. I'm drowning. Dearest Henry, how many tattoos do you have in your body that we can't see at the moment? Where and what? Pamela! Pamela you don't have much time wouldn't here, you friend. like to know? Woo! Thanks for coming on. Henry Rollins, folks. We'll see you here tomorrow night with Paulie Shore. Have a good evening.